Hey everyone, this week I'm packing my bags and going to Chile. Some of you know me already, but just in case, I'm Derek and I work at the Sudicum Planetarium at the Adventure Science Center. This week I'm doing some astronomy research, specifically Jovian Trojan asteroids. A little bit more on that later on. Now some of the best telescopes in the world are located in Chile. Astronomers have chosen many sites throughout the country for reasons like high altitude, dry climate, and less light polluted skies. The night sky down there is absolutely astounding. Now, these observatories are in fairly remote locations. It takes three flights just to get to the town where the observatory office is, then an hour and a half van ride up the mountain to get to the telescopes themselves. Now flying in, the telescopes can be seen out the window just before the final descent. Because Chile is in the southern hemisphere, the seasons are actually opposite from those in the northern hemisphere. Now that's because the seasons are caused by the tilt of the earth. So if you think about summer is when a pole of the earth is actually leaning toward the sun, then we experience summer here in the northern hemisphere when the north pole leans toward the sun. We have longer days and we get more direct sunlight. Now think about that, if that means that summer for us is happening in those months of June through August, the South Pole is actually pointed away from the sun, which makes it winter for the Southern Hemisphere. Now the same thing happens at the opposite part of the year. When the South Pole leans toward the sun, the Southern Hemisphere gets summer, the Northern Hemisphere gets winter. So long story short, all the seasons down here are opposite. So if I take off and leave spring in the Northern Hemisphere, it instantly becomes fall for me down here in the Southern Hemisphere. So here we are, enjoying some nice fall weather. We are here in April. That means the students around here have just gone back to school. So bottom line, all the seasons, all of that comes from the tilt of the earth. But something happened this morning that I wasn't quite expecting. When I woke up, this is the view that I got out the window on the airplane. I could see Venus way more easily than I could in Nashville. Now since I took a trip partway down around the earth, the angle I see between the sun and Venus changes. I could see Venus for way longer before the sun rose and hit it from my view this morning. In the next couple days, I'll take a look and see what differences I can notice in the stars at night too. Now before I go too much further, I do want to take a moment and say hi to some friends I made in some schools around Tennessee and some of the surrounding states in the past couple weeks. I got to visit you, talk a little bit about what's going on, so I thought you might like to take a quick look at the culture down here in Chile. So right now I'm in a town called La Serena. It's a beautiful, busy town with lots of businesses and shops and parks to explore. There's a place in town called the Recinto that is a compound completely dedicated to astronomy. Now throughout the Recinto there are offices for multiple observatories, homes for some astronomers and their families, a guest house, and even a motel. Now that's where we spent a night before taking the ride up the mountain. So next time you hear from me, we'll take a look at the mountaintop of Cerro Tololo. But until then, what questions do you have? I wanna hear from you, so if you do have any questions, I know some teachers have my email address, but just in case you don't, feel free to send those questions to marketing at adventuresci.org. Send those questions to me, I'll do my best to help you explore what life is like, what astronomy is like here in Chile, and answer those in some upcoming videos. Until then, go outside and look up. You know that's what I'll be doing. See ya!